I don't know if you've logged into Netflix lately, but I, um, I, just, I you know, I don't really don't watch a lot of Netflix, but I know the couple of shows are coming out. Heels is on there now. And of course, that uh, one you're going to talk about now. So I, I clicked on Netflix today. And before I even got to my account, they had this like little thing on the bottom right. And it was like, Mr. McMahon debuts Wednesday hmm. short series or whatever, whatever they called it. Like, oh, wow. Like they sort of, uh, it's not like I've seen wrestling content on Netflix. So it's, the algorithm is not specifically geared towards me. I don't think uh, maybe it's sports stuff that I watch. Maybe they think I'm going to be interested, but so they're promoting that already. Your apps are talking to each other. Garrett. That's what's going on. Oh, oh you think the peacock? <laughs> <laughs> the peacock is talking to Netflix, is talking to X, is talking to OnlyFans, is talking to you know all those ones you subscribe to. <laughs> OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, oh man. The so okay, so that's coming. And like you said, heels, and I know the heels guys are like, man, if if they could do for us like they did with suits, maybe mm-hmm. we actually get a third season going. So that's kind of cool. I, I will. I think I will try and watch Heels. I, I don't know when I'll get to it, but I, I do. I, I would like to see some of it. Let me know how it is. It's where I, I saw that too, and I'm like, hmm. but then I'm like, I'm so burnt on wrestling, you know. I know. I know. It's just like it's like taking a break, and we were kind of lucky. Well, not lucky. Well, you know, you know, for years Raw was and SmackDown were skippable, and you can kind of pick and choose when you want to watch certain things. But now things are going good for both shows, and you kind of feel like you have to tune in every week now but i don't want that i just don't i don't want to add another wrestling thing to my plate especially in this time of the year when i watch a lot of scary movies and stuff leading up to halloween so i wanted to watch the very first episode of queen of the villains which is the uh dramatic short season series about dump matsumoto and the rise of uh the women's wrestling in japan and this show is really interesting. I, it was I, I didn't even know what to expect, really. Now, I will say I watched the English dubbed version and I didn't realize it as as it was happening. I was like, why is everyone speaking English if this is supposed to be Japanese? Like, I think it automatically it? defaults us for like a lot of those. Lot so of so I'm sure yeah. I'm sure that's what it was. You probably yeah. pick the Japanese mm-hmm. version if you wanted to watch with English subtitles. So the beauty pair is in episode one. Uh, was it Jackie? Uh, ja- is it Jackie Sato? Or, or and then yeah, I, I, I forget. I forget their names. But basically, the voices, the the American English voices that were dubbed over for the the beauty pair. Uh, Nikki Bella What's and Alexis. Alexis. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. It was wild because they're just speaking English and and the mm-hmm. the the and you see the mouths move. So, anyways, um, I didn't I didn't know what to expect, and what I saw was pretty good. Like, mm-hmm. I, I I was I want to watch the rest of it, and I know. Um, What's the storyline? Is it like storyline the ra- like wrestlers is real, and this is a real story? Yeah, like, is that I, there, it's, is it's it? not. I I didn't get the sense that wrestling was real, but it is Japan. Mm-hmm. And their version of kayfabe is a little bit different than ours, right? They they try and it, it's a little more insidery, uh, and and the, the the people who who promote it act like it's real. Mm-hmm. Um, so there is that in there, but I haven't gotten far enough into it to see if anyone says, "Here's how you you know, here's how you blade and all that stuff." I haven't seen. Yeah, I, haven't I mean, I, that far yet. I, I'm I'm gonna say is like the Young Rock, but is it like you know? That's what not it was, comedy, treat, but... it was treating wrestling as a, a serious mm-hmm. sport, very popular. The the beef with the beauty pair um, was kind of real. And and the match that they did not portray the match as um, who's going to win or like the bookers picking the winner, mm-hmm. though. There was like an outsider who was like, who's going to win in this match? And. And the the guy who was, uh, I don't know if he's like an office guy or whatever. He's like, like you can't 
like you 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 can't call the like you just have to let them fight like that's kind mm-hmm. of his, his mentality but anyway uh, th- th- i'm sure there's going to be things when it comes to the kayfabe aspect of wrestling mm-hmm. that they're going to try and treat mm-hmm. it as a little bit more real what was the length of the episodes of the 45 minutes or? first episode was an hour i don't know if the rest mm-hmm. of them but it's only like five or six episodes though so I don't know. They got some stuff like that. I'm really interested in that Penguin series coming up and uh, on Max. I was getting who's a lot playing, of who's playing the Penguin? Colin Farrell is in that suit. Oh, man. wow. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, he was great in the, the Bat. I, I love the movie, The Batman. I thought it was fantastic. Um, so I'm really pumped about this. I'm going to, I always kind of keep up with the Marvel stuff. So I might watch that Agatha show just because it's kind of Halloween vibes. So I'll probably watch that. But like, I'm trying to get away from wrestling just the less I touch. Wrestling. Aubrey Plaza is in that one, right? Yes, yes, she is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, Netflix is doing a lot of stuff with wrestling, uh, and Raw's coming. I'm sure all of these things are happening for that reason. Because three hour SmackDown on USA, is that I'm reading? I kind of wonder about that one. Why are they ribbing us, man? Fuck. Well, the reason why I, I <laughs> reason why I wonder about it is because that deal. If that detail was in the deal, we would have known about it. Mm-hmm. And and if it is a three hour show versus a two hour show, the and that's the number that they got paid. They're actually getting paid less than people would realize. So I'm kind of wondering. I, I'm sure Dave will have something in the Observer about it. But I, if they are actually doing a three hour show, I would think that they would get paid more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and yeah. I didn't. We didn't see any anything about monetary. So, anyways. Yeah. 